Well, I think we want to move our culture forward and establish uh, what our day-to-day -day habits are. And a lot of that is unselfishness and, and, and playing together. Specifically, what we'd also like to do is become better defensively. And that's just going to take a day-to-day -day grind, day-to-day -day habits. And hopefully what that does is increase our toughness as a team. We'll have six new faces. Um, so we are seeing that, that um, you know, we had quite a few new faces last year, seven and then six this year. So, you know, that's a challenge. That's always a challenge. How fast can we get them up to speed? And of those six, four of them are freshmen. DJ Heath from Alabama, Jelani White from Connecticut, Scott Hitchin from Canada, and Carl Molson from Buffalo. And then uh, we'll have uh, two junior college guys, Jonathan Sanks, uh, who's uh, from Georgia. Uh, he does have a year, actually two years of, of being in a Division I program. Uh, and that, I think that, that, uh, that really helps. And then uh, Markel Lott, who uh, is a, a late addition to our program and um, gives us some depth and size. Uh, so, um, you know, when you have that many new guys, um, you know, it, t it takes a day-to-day -day effort to kind of bring people together, and that's what we're still really establishing. First thing we want to do is increase his fit level. So, uh, Jermaine, we're trying to get him down to a weight that allows him to actually be stronger, but carry around less of excess weight that's not doing him any good. And I think if we can do that, his motor will improve and he can play quality minutes and play more of those quality minutes. That's our goal for, for Jermaine. And I think once we can get him to that point, you know, we'll be able to see things that maybe we don't know he has or he may not know he has. But certainly he did some things for us last year. He showed some signs that he could score. Um, he, you know, he could shoot and protect the basket by taking charges. And he has a lot of things that he does well. We wanna, we wanna make sure he continues to not only do them well, but to do them better. And then add some things to his game, rebounding post defense and perimeter defense and those are the things we're hoping to, 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 to help him with. You know Malik showed some signs of leadership that were really, really good for, for a fresh, particularly for a freshman and we're hoping that he continues to do that, that, that his perimeter defense will, will even get better. He was pretty good at grinding and wearing opponents down with his quickness and his speed and his toughness and what we're hoping to do is be able to see him now improve on the offensive end, free throw shooting, perimeter shooting. Uh, he was pretty good at, at making decisions. We need him to improve in, in that area. Uh, we need him to improve at, at, at um, controlling the game. And uh, again, he was, he was good in those areas and we want to see him improve. Well, I think it gives Western New Yorkers a, a chance to, to, uh, to see all four teams and be able to, to focus uh, on college basketball as a whole and to be able to get a glimpse of, of all of the four teams sort of collectively. And um, I, I also think it gives Western New York a real good taste of the spirit of intercollegiate athletics and the thrill of, of just the entire uh, college experience. Uh, I think, you know, when, when you look at the basketball programs in the area, it's a pretty good representation of, of what it can be like. And, and my hope is that, um, that people taste it, they enjoy it, and actually want to invest in it.